So Charlotte is playing with her little slingshot dino that we got from the dollar store. She's been having a lot of fun with it. And it is literally stuck to the wall. It's been like that for at least a good minute. <laughs> and now I try to jump and hit the wall and see if she can come okay. down. Okay. All right. You want me to touch it? All right. Hi. 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 All right. And I'm trying to wait for it. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, it fell. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm Jamie, welcome to my channel. Today, Charlotte and I have been spending the whole Hi. day. <laughs> Charlotte and I have been spending the whole day at the new house. We are slowly unpacking. And uh, one of the main reasons why we are here, well, other than it's our house, but um, we are finally getting like legit stairs built. So very excited about that. The official move is approaching. So excited. Um, so we've been getting a lot done. We really have been getting a lot done, but in, I know it probably doesn't look like it because we still have so much stuff, but I got my cookbooks in my little cookbook nook. <laughs> Sounds a little lot like Dr. Seuss here, but I got that put away. We had a whole bunch of boxes here and a whole bunch of boxes here. I got that one right, I got that one right there. I gotta slide that one out. Working on that one. Um, some things that we did finally get done. I hung this up. This is my horse picture. I decided that I really like, what are you doing? I'm <laughs> Dinosaur. A little green dinosaur. Yeah. Um, so I decided, uh, Megan and I, we decided that we really liked the horse picture right there. It's in the dining room. Oh, Charlotte, you liked it too? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that we, we all agree this looks very nice right here. And in I had decided that in this space here, because of this corrugated metal right here, um, really leaves like not that big of space here. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna hang this piece up. This was in our dining room at the last house, but so was this picture. The wall at the last house was way bigger and I was able to hang that up. Now I can't hang that up. So I'm gonna hang that piece up on the top right here. I'm gonna center it. And then on the bottom, I have family pictures that I'm gonna put underneath of it. So, and then I think I actually have the word family. So, so that metal piece will go on the top. Then I think I can fit the word family and then all like our family pictures underneath that. And I think that would look really good. Um, it's Xanthia's room, still working on that. Not sure what to do with this wall here. I'm slowly working on it, but what I do love is this right here. So I did hang my Texas star and I got this going on here. So if you remember seeing this in the last house, I just added my uh, the little dragonfly, little succulent, and then this piece right here. I just put that in there. I don't know, tell me what you think. Do you like it better like this? Let me scoot back a little bit more. Do you like it better like this or, or does it look good just like this? I don't know. I think this looks really cute. It's like this like staircase kind of thing going on here. I think both look really cute, but they both did. <laughs> but the way I had it decorated at the old house, I had those pieces mixed in with it and I remember really loving it. And the only thing that is missing from this little setup is the picture of me and TJ that I really love. So as soon as I can find that in whichever box it is in, I'll definitely be adding it to this. So um, I like to add our family pictures throughout the house wherever I can. So I don't know if I wanna keep it like this or if I'm gonna actually add these pieces. I think I'm gonna do it for right now and I'm gonna wait until y'all like come back come comment uh, me back and let me know what y'all think. Okay, so uh, the guy just left from doing the um, doing the steps. They look really good. They feel pretty solid. Uh, reeling might actually be a little bit high, but um, really not that worried about it. Anyway, I think we're just gonna wrap it up here and head back to the apartment. I feel like we got like so much, I feel like I got so much stuff done. I mean, like these are like the, boxes I've like already unpacked. Let me show you. Well, really? 
I like a stack of boxes. This is like a, a pretty good size stack of boxes. Oh, I didn't finish putting this away. That um, I have been able to break down and get taken care of. So on our way home, we're... Oops, hello, you can't even see me. On our way home, I feel like my phone is not set up with a good lighting here. But on our way home, we're going to stop over at the gas station to get some snacks for the trip home because it takes a little while to get there. Things are coming along really good. I'm super happy. And I'll actually show you what the girls' rooms looks like so far. Well, not Exanthia's because none of her stuff is really here yet, but I'll show you what Megan and Charlotte's room looks like. And then Megan's room, she's got her things all set up for her desk. She is super excited. You should have heard her uh, opening up her boxes and she's like, oh my God, this, oh my gosh, that. It's like she hasn't seen these things in so long. It's really only been like two months or something. Um, <laughs> but I mean, she still has some boxes and we still have a lot of stuff in the storage unit too. So she's got her clothes and her bedding is up there. And so this is what the girls' rooms looks like. Um, Megan's bed is going to go over here. And that's honestly all I know. I think obviously we got her TV is over here. And I think her dresser, I think her dresser is going to go in this space. And then her bed will go here. And then something's going there. I don't actually know, but. Okay, so this is my room. So, I'm going to just leave this here. And uh, um, I'm going to put these two pictures right there. All the them. And that's where it's going to be my bed. And I'm going to think of things some more. Hey y'all, well, it is the next day. I did not do a very good job of uh, vlogging yesterday. I started to do a what I eat in a day. I got through breakfast and <laughs> then I couldn't, and then I forgot to do lunch and dinner. Lunch yesterday was, what did I have? I don't even know. Where's a butterfly? Oh, that's pretty. What did I, what did I do? Oh, I had leftovers. That's what it was. It was uh, just some like chicken taco meat that I just threw that together. I had that for lunch and then dinner. Um, Megan's last day of school yesterday was yesterday uh, since we're moving and uh, to kind of celebrate it, she wanted to um, go to Burger King. So we got that for dinner and it is the next day. I basically had the exact same thing for breakfast and I've got my truck loaded. As you can see, there's my cow picture. And my truck is loaded with a lot of stuff. And um, I got a flat tire. <sighs> Y'all, this is just not a good way to start my morning. I was almost to the land. It is like going on 10 o'clock. And um, I did call for roadside assistance. They will be here in an hour and a half or so. And, um, what's crazy is that when, um, when I finally pulled over and I'm at a gas station too. So thankfully this happened right in front of a gas station. It's a big one. It's actually a real nice gas station. Um, then when I went to go check on my tire, the air was just pouring out of like the little nozzle, you know, where you like, you know, put air in your tire and it's not like the little cap wasn't screwed on all the way. I mean, not that that would, I don't think actually matter anyway. But I think the nozzle is actually broken because it the air was just pouring out of it. And what ticks me off is the fact that I just bought all four tires brand new, like in April. It's like either April or May, one of the two of this year. So they're not that old. They're not even a year old yet. And then this happens. So... And then my father-in-law, he is on his way to meet me at the house, but he's also an hour and a half away right now. So uh, if the tow truck, if the tow truck driver doesn't get here, um, he'll he'll come and change my tire. Um, but if he gets here before, you know, if the tow truck driver gets here first, then he won't worry about it. He'll probably just meet me at the house. I'm hoping that the driver gets here really soon because I don't want to sit here for the next hour and a half. I've got things to do. My daughter has got to go to work and I'm her driver for that because her car is not done at... Okay, long story with that one, but anyway. Um, 
I just, I'm busy. I've got things to do. I don't have time for a flat tire, and yet here I sit. Oh my God. And of course, these things always happen when TJ's not home, so that's fantastic. You know, I figured since I'm here waiting, um, I figured I would hop on here and uh, talk with y'all for a minute. Other, other than bringing my stuff to my house, my father-in-law was gonna hook up the washer and dryer for me today. I gotta get home, I gotta take my daughter to work past that. I don't know what else I'm doing today. <laughs> Instead of waiting patiently, obviously. Um, this really sucks. My truck into NTB and have them check the rest of my tire. I'm going to have to anyway because I'm going to have to buy a new tire. Thankfully, I have a spare. That's fine. But now I'm probably going to have to buy a new tire. So I'm going to have to take it over there anyway and then tell them something happened with this nozzle. I don't even, I don't even see a crack. I don't see anything. My tire is like it's like sitting at a nine PSI, so that's fun. All right, so it is now 12.10. It's been two hours, and come to find out, the tow truck driver that USAA had sent out to come and rescue me, um, they had to cancel because apparently there was something wrong with their truck or whatever, but when I called the phone number that they gave me and I called them, they said, oh, the driver is like, you know, he got hung up on another job, he'll be there in 30 minutes. Well, five minutes later, USA calls and said they had to cancel it because something's wrong with their truck. So somebody's lying. I think the tow company is actually lying. They probably got hung up on a job and they can't make it, so whatever. This is not the first time this has happened to me and so I feel like roadside assistance just, it's just an aggravating situation, but. So they reassigned me to another uh, tow company. When they reassigned that, they said another hour to, so like 60 to 85 minutes. But thankfully my father-in-law is only a half hour away from me, so change the tire. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, that is the update on that. I've been sitting here for over two hours now, still waiting for somebody to show up. Thankfully I'm at this gas station. There is still a blessing in disguise here. You know, this could be worse. I could be on the side of the road in between towns and nothing being around and having to use the bathroom or get a drink or whatever and being totally screwed which is actually really funny because before I even left the apartment I remember packing snacks in my purse thinking and I don't know why it was like one of those random thoughts like if you were to get stuck on the side of the road if something were to happen you would at least have food and water well I did have a Pepsi I'm almost done with it and I do have snacks so at least I, ha I have that and then this happens. You ever get that? You ever get like those like random thoughts or something? It's just like totally out of the out of the blue and then it winds up happening at some point. I don't know, that's happened to me on multiple occasions. So I think my father-in-law is gonna get here before the tow truck driver does. Hopefully I feel, to I feel awful because he was only supposed to hook up the washer and dryer. That's it, that's all he was supposed to do. <laughs> that rescued me off the side of the road. Well, in the parking lot in this case. I can at least just Thank God that this, if this was going to happen, if this was just in the cards for me, I am just grateful, thankful, and blessed that it happened at a gas station. Things could always be worse. Okay, I'll update you later on what's going on. Now I'm at NTB getting my tire stem valve replaced. So hopefully that takes care of my issue. There's my truck right over there. <laughs> it has been an exhausting day, y'all. Y'all, mini haul from Kroger. Ran over there because um, I needed to pick up Xanthia some dinner for tonight because I am not cooking. Tonight is our last night in the apartment and I want all dishes done. So I'm not cooking dinner, but Xanthia's at work so she'll come home and have this. I also had to get a gallon of milk, which has already been put away over there. Megan's in the fridge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tomorrow morning, the girls are gonna have their chocolate milk and I got some of these donuts for breakfast. That way nobody has to make anything. I got myself the Bang Energy drinks and the peach mango. This is like my new favorite. I got one for today and one for tomorrow because I'm gonna need my energy <laughs> and I need all the energy I can muster up. I also picked up these little decorative, not decorative, yeah. Well, the kids have already gotten into them. But these little, these little lights you could put inside your pumpkin and you like, I think it's the kind you like, you press it 
Maybe there's a switch. No, I think maybe you press it. You put, oh, there's a button. Oh, there's, okay, so you need to put three AAA batteries in here, and so there's a button on the side, so it can either strobe, or it could be like a solid um, glow, or it can change colors. So I don't know, what, it doesn't say what colors it changes, but anyway, so I need to get batteries for that, so I thought it'd be fun for the kids. And then the last thing I got was this candle. It's a Tuscany candle, and it's the Paranormal Pumpkin, but look at the pumpkins on this. I could not resist. This was so cute. And then the candle itself, it's a three-way candle, it's orange, and let me tell you, it smells really, really good. It's like perfect for fall. So I picked up one of those candles and that was pretty much it. Also just letting you know, I'm making this keto cheeseburger soup for dinner tonight. And I actually got this idea from, um, Haley from uh, The Farmer than Southern Belle. I can link her channel down below too. She is so fun to watch. Anyway, she had made this soup before and she said it was delicious. So I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Um, I will also link it down below if I can find it again. But anyway, so I'm gonna do all the things here in the ingredients except for the jicama. I don't even know what a jicama even looks like. So I'm gonna leave that out, but I'm gonna do all the things here throw it into the crock pot, and then I will let you know um, how that turns out later today. But I'll also show you how I throw that together in the crock pot, because I know you gotta cook the uh, ground beef first and then throw all the things in there. But anyway, so that is what is for dinner tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my eggs. And I need to get Charlotte started on some schoolwork here really soon. Um, and then later on, this was, um, I had picked this up over at TJ Maxx. Um, as you can see by the sticker right here, it was $5.99. This is the Lakanto Sugar-Free Chocolate Chip Cookie Mix. Um, I thought this would be nice to, um, to make this today um, because I want some cookies. The nice thing is they're one net carb. Sugar-free, it is keto. Um, I think you're supposed to, uh, if this could also focus, I have like a focus issue here. Uh, so you're supposed to be able to make 12 cookies out of this. Yeah, this is, that's actually quite a bit. There's like, it feels like there's quite a bit of mix here, but it says that all you need is some melted coconut oil, almond milk, and vanilla extract. And it tells you, you mix all the ingredients together and you roll it into 12 balls into a cookie sheet and then you bake it. So, and one cookie is um, one net carb. So, all right y'all, so I am finally ready for the day. Now I look more camera ready. So um, it is like almost 11.30 and I am kind of starving. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm having. This is what I'm having for my second meal of the day. I'm just having a handful of walnuts here, and I've got some blackberries and raspberries in here, and um, I've got this. This is um, the Ratio Keto Friendly Yogurt. Oh my gosh, y'all. So yesterday I had the vanilla, and it is so thick and so creamy. This is like my new favorite yogurt. I'm loving this. So it's almost 11.30 right now, I think. Uh, I'm gonna have a protein shake uh, here in a couple of hours, and uh, then I'm gonna get dinner started here in the crock pot, and I will show you all of that. Charlotte and I, we have gotten a little bit of schoolwork done, which is good. Um, we did a little bit of um, learning about Christopher Columbus, because today is October 11th, it's Christopher Columbus Day, so we learned a little bit about him. I found a video on YouTube that I played for her. And then I also have these little books, let me show you. So I had got, I get these books, I get these books, like I think they're come in like every single week. It's the Everbright Kids. And it actually talks a little bit about Christopher Columbus. It gives you, I think Charlotte and I are gonna try to make these today, the pumpkin spice cookies. So there are recipes. And then um, I actually read this, it was the Resourceful Vultures. So it gives you like a lot of fun facts, but this came in about Christopher Columbus. So, and then it gives you like, you know, there's like a fun word search and um, some like activities that you can do. So this is like a lot of fun. And then it gives you like a little history about Christopher Columbus, so we read that. And then um, about the area where he had landed, um, gives you a little history about that. I also read, well, Charlotte and I didn't read about the Panama Canal, but I did read this myself and I thought this was really fascinating. Her and I, we read a little bit about Christopher Columbus. This book came in last week, so this was perfect timing. Uh, I'll link this uh, for the Everbright kids. I will link this down below if I can find it, uh, if you're interested in getting this. I mean, they're like just smaller books, 
but they've got like a lot of really fun things in here. You know, uh, they've got like, like I said, they've got like these different activities, little pumpkin scramble. Um, some of them have like the little recipes that the kids can make. And so it's just, it's a lot of fun. Oh, and these are like some Halloween joke. Um, if you're really into a history, the one I just got yesterday, it was here yesterday, the day before is, uh, the birth of revolution. So this goes into about Paul Revere. Um, this is like one of the first ones I had gotten was about like the election. It is not, it just gives you the, the facts about, you know, how election is supposed to go and everything. So then this one was about Cardinals, uh, the Wright brothers. Oh, and then it gives you a recipe on Tutti Frutti ice pops. So that was probably, that probably came to us in the summer and we hadn't read it, that one yet. And then, um, this one is like entrepreneurship and innovation. So, and I have other ones. I don't know where they are right now because, you know, Columbus is a part of our history. So then we dove into, um, our devotional and then we just finished up history, our history lesson for today. And then we're just taking a little snack break and then we're gonna do our language arts and math and then we're gonna call it a day. And then we'll probably go ahead and make those cookies. So that's what we got going on so far. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, I'm getting our cheeseburger soup ready. I've got my ground beef is cooking over here. Again, this is the recipe. In case you didn't catch it earlier, you can take a snapshot. And if I can link it down below, I will. Um, so I've got my two cups of uh, shredded cheddar cheese. I have some extra for um, sprinkling it on top of the soup, kind of like what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cook the bacon here in just a little bit so that I can crumble that. Put that over top of the soup. Some crushed red pepper, because you know I like the spice. Um, I've got some diced onion. I just so happened to dice that up yesterday, so that was pretty convenient. A package of cream cheese the chicken broth, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and some fresh garlic that I'm going to use on this side um, because I don't have any minced garlic, I have fresh, so I shall make it minced with that. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that going. Cook up our ground beef till it looks lovely and beautiful. I gotta get my crock pot out of here. Okay, so I have my crock pot ready to go. I got one of these liners, it's one of these, um, one of these liners here, I believe. Uh, oh, I got this here from Kroger, but I mean, any local grocery store will probably carry these. Let me tell you, if you can get your hands on these things, they really save you a ton. Yesterday I used this um, because I was just cooking up some, what did I do? I did a barbecue, it was a keto barbecue chicken casserole. I just, I, co I cooked the chicken. Anytime I needed like a pre-cooked shredded chicken or if a recipe calls for uh, a rotisserie chicken or anything like that, I just throw my chicken in here with some chicken broth, salt and pepper, and then just let that cook. And that way the chicken is ready for whenever I need it. And I used one of these liners, which really saved my butt because then all you do when you're done cooking, you just take that off and look at that. Your crock pot is completely clean for the most part. So as you can see, I'm all out. I have to go get more. Um, but yeah, these things are amazing. Now I gotta find my lid and I gotta stir the beef. So I'm just gonna get that going and I'll show you the next step here in a minute. So now that I have my ground beef already cooked up, I added my minced garlic and some salt and pepper. I accidentally, I was trying to do um, a half a tablespoon of pepper and it just kind of like dumped in there. So we're gonna have a little extra pepper, but that's okay, because I like my things peppery. I don't mind. Now I'm just going to drain the fat out of there and then transfer it into my crock pot. All right, there it is, y'all. I've got my ground beef, onion, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, chicken broth, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, all the goodness is in here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I gotta find my lid. Where the heck did my lid go? All right, anyway, I'm gonna put this high, on high for four hours. Um, so this should be done here about 4.30, which is perfect. Um, that's when everybody will definitely be home from work and school and wherever. Um, I gotta find my lid, get that on there, and that will be dinner. And I will show you what that looks like once it's all done. Okay, two o'clock and I am getting hungry. So I decided to make myself a little protein shake. I got my cup. I have some uh, cashew milk. I like this one, it is the unsweetened. I'm gonna add in one egg. I have the chocolate, the decadent chocolate organic protein powder. This is four net carbs for the one scoop, excuse my cat. And then I put in, what do I use? I think I only do one tablespoon. A serving size is two tablespoons of this PB2 uh, powdered peanut butter. 
I specifically only got this to make that taste better because that does not taste very good. So I am using this up so that I can go get something else. I don't want to throw it away because I can't remember how much I paid for it. So, I mean, I, I can use other ingredients to kind of mask the taste. It just, it, I don't know, whatever. I've tried adding vanilla, just doesn't taste very good. So, but adding this PB2 actually does taste pretty good. So anyway, I'm gonna whip that up and um, that will be my third meal of the day. So I just tried it and this makes it taste so much better. I did add a splash of vanilla in there and it really does um, make it taste a little bit better. Something I wanted to point out in case y'all didn't know already, but uh, like I said, the serving size on this is two tablespoons and for which is 60 calories, five total carbs, but one dietary fiber, so four net carbs. So since I'm only using one tablespoon, two net carbs, not too bad. And the ingredients on this is just roasted peanuts, sugar, and salt. That is it. This soup turned out so good, I'll definitely be making it again. And we just kind of topped it with some regular burger toppings. And I had to laugh at myself for how frustrated I was getting when I was trying to film the last little bit of what it looks like. Damn, my goddamn shadow is like all in my way. Everything's in my way. Look at this silly girl. She's on top of the fridge. You say hi to the camera. You say hi, babies. Crazy kitty girls. Yeah, she jumps up onto here and then gets up on top of the fridge. <laughs> what? What oh, big girl? <laughs> You're a stinker, what? You wanna talk some more, hmm? Silly girls. All right, y'all, so I stopped at Academy and specifically to get these here, um, I just got the uh, these bike shorts mainly because I need it to go with my costume. Charlotte, I, t I told Charlotte that I would kind of match her costume and that I was gonna be a scary clown, but I wanted her to pick it out, so this is what she picked out for me. We went over to Spirit Halloween, so I picked it up, and the stockings, um, they do fit, but if y'all are anything like me, um, I was uh, gifted with thighs that rub together and so stockings are actually not my friend. So I decided to pick up these bike shorts to wear over top of them and the skirt will cover it uh, so you won't actually see them but when I'm walking and I've experienced this before where I wore Halloween costumes before that had the stockings and it just doesn't end well. So I got the bike shorts. So I'm gonna stick it in the bag now so that I don't lose them. <clears throat> this that's all I've that's all I went um, for Academy for. I mean they were only like ten dollars. They weren't like anything too crazy. I don't know how to get that picture back in the bag. Wait, I wanted to show you this other thing I had gotten. I'd seen this at the store. This, uh, it's an Under Armour um, hoodie. Oh my gosh, y'all, it is so soft. And I love that color. Oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. And I just, I love the material. And it, it's, I did buy it in an extra large. It's oversized, but it's just, you know, one of those com comfy, cozy, kind of sweaters, you know. I mean, it's October and it's Texas, so it is not cold yet. So I won't be wearing it anytime soon, but let me tell you, when it does get cold, I'm gonna be really thankful for that. Anyway, I picked this up and that is all I got from Academy. So weird to see my closet so empty right now. There's like nothing. <laughs> all of my clothes except for what is right here and what is in uh, the washer right now is um, is all that's left here in the apartment. I pretty much emptied uh, two days closet. The bathroom still has stuff in it because we're still in here for like one more night. But um, anyway, so yeah, everything we just kind of like already, you know, hauled two days dresser away. I'm having the movers take this, the bed. I'll have them probably take the nightstand. I'll take the lamp and my picture back there. So there are things that I am gonna be taking myself. I've been making so many trips and, um, oh, you know what? I didn't even get to finish telling you about what happened yesterday. Okay, so I think it was about like 12.30, one o'clock in the afternoon, my father-in-law shows up. And let me tell you what ended up happening. My father-in-law shows up, he gets the spare tire from underneath the truck, and now we can't find a jack. Well, the jack that I have for my truck, it's just like one of those like bottlenose jacks. They're not really good. They're just really crappy kind of jacks, but you know, if, if you really need it. But the problem was it's underneath my seat, underneath all the crap that was 
in my truck so it wasn't easily accessible mother-in-law and i decided to do um we ended up finding uh, some guys that were stopping at the gas station filling up they were heading out to their deer lease and by the grace of god they had a jack a pretty a, a bigger one than i had anyway they were able to jack my truck up and my father-in-law could uh, change out my tire and I was just like I was so happy and I was like oh my god I wanted to give this guy a big hug I mean it was him his wife and then there was another guy I'm not sure if he was friend or family but it didn't matter I was just like I was just so happy that there are still kind people out there and I just wanted to give them a big hug they were just the sweetest people so I, I didn't catch their names and then so after we got the tire on there we're good to go we're heading up to the house I get a text message from USAA saying that the second tow truck company that was supposed to come out to come rescue me, they canceled too. So I thought, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, thankfully I don't need them anymore, but still, I mean, what if I was stranded? You know, what if it's like, you know, in the middle of the night, I mean, stranded in the middle of nowhere. Roadside service, no, I'm sorry. It's awful. Then a little while later, I get the phone call from uh, the tow truck driver. He didn't actually cancel at all. He calls me up and says that he is over at the travel center and he was looking for me. And I said, I'm sorry, but I tried calling you multiple times because USA will send you a phone number for the service that's coming out to you. And if you need to get an ETA on them, and I tried calling them and I called multiple times, no answer. So I gave up on that. So he called and he says, ma'am, I'm really sorry on the weekends. I am the only person. And I said, well, I said, well, it sounds like you've got a lot on your plate and I really appreciate you calling me, trying to help. I said, but I'm not there anymore because my father-in-law who came down from Dallas <laughs> um, had to come rescue me. And so, uh, and so he apologized again and that was it. Roadside assistance is garbage, okay? I mean, comment down below if you've ever had success or not success with roadside assistance. I'd really like to know because so far, um, no, I think it's it's garbage, total garbage. It was a crazy day and, uh, and I'm just glad that, that was over. So today, um, I'm just trying to wrap up all the packing and everything. Tomorrow, the movers are going to be here at 9 a.m. And I feel like there is still so much to do and I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm trying to get all the laundry done so that... Um, we take clean clothes instead of clean and dirty clothes up to the house. Um, try to get all the dishes cleaned up. I'm just trying to do like the last bit of cleaning for that done. Um, and just, and, and as it's finishing, I'm, I'm putting them in boxes. So anyway, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I will try to vlog as much as I possibly can. Um, dinner tonight is probably just going to be takeout because I am not cooking because I do not want to clean any more dishes. So, um, I don't know what we're doing. I'm just going to let the kids decide on that. And that is it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.